Hi guys, this is a video on how to make the top to the bay blade so we can make some custom bay blades. Uh, my intention is for us to have a little bit of a tournament later based on your own designs. Uh, but what we've got is really just the top of the bay blade, uh, the part with the little spikes, things like that, is what we need to design. Uh, overall the part that connects the launcher is already made for us which is great news because it's you know the less interesting part uh, so we're gonna get started uh, we're in Tinkercad right now let's go ahead and click in the upper left we're just gonna call this Beyblade top so give your design a name we'll say v1 all right this is just to get you started um, as we go through this we'll give you some more advanced ways of making Beyblades, but this is really just our first attempt. All right, so click on the cylinder and then click on this little white box and we're gonna make this 40.5 millimeters by 40.5 millimeters. What is this dimension? Well, this is the inner diameter of our top piece and this is the really the size of the part that our top piece is gonna go over. We want to make sure this is, uh, you click on this white box here, this should be 6.5 millimeters tall. Okay, so if I rotate by clicking on the right mouse button, I can see a little bit more. We have just a nice little coin. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and drag a second cylinder in. We're just gonna do a couple of simple designs here to get you started. Uh, this one I'm gonna make 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. Same thing, I'm going to make this overall object 6.5 millimeters tall. All right, not too bad. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this next to it, and then I'm going to click on the work plane, the blue surface, and I'm going to drag over to get a selection box. Very good. And then I'm going to go to the upper right where it says a line, and then I'm going to go ahead and press on the center guy and on this center one to the left right here. Okay, not too bad. All right, then I'm gonna click on the very center object. Let's see right there. Hard to tell which one's selected. If you press shift click, let's see. We should be able to select the inner one. We wanna press hold. Nope, we had the wrong one selected. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll drag the big one away. We're gonna click on the little one. We're gonna make that into a hole. Then we're going to select both of them again. Then we're gonna go back to our line tool in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna go ahead and align it like that. Okay, go ahead and press select them both again. We're gonna press group in the upper right. Okay, and now we have this nice ring which will sit on top of our Beyblade and we can go ahead and add some modifications to it. So I'm gonna do very quickly three little designs. In order to do that, I'm going to click on Duplicate and Repeat in the upper right. Okay, there's one. Duplicate and Repeat. There's two. All right, so this will give me three different Beyblade designs. I'm going to space them out a little bit so we have room to work. I'll start with this one on the left. So what I'm thinking for a basic design, maybe we choose some triangles. I'm going to go ahead and click on Triangles over here. I'm going to drag this guy over. I'm going to hold the right mouse button so I can zoom or rotate and zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on the mouse. Okay, I'm going to rotate this guy to 90 degrees and then I'm going to rotate him again with these curved arrows that we see. Okay, I'm going to specify this height as 6.5 millimeters and I'm going to drag this guy up like so. Okay, I'm going to drag him over, so he's intersecting. I want to see that he actually aligns with the edge of the ring, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the line in the upper right, then I'm going to click on the center button right there. Okay, I want more of these spikes, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go to duplicate in the upper left, then I'm going to drag the duplicated one over, put one there, and do that again. I'm going to do four of these. Put one right there. And one more time, I'm gonna put this new one. Oh, nothing came up. Let's see. There we go. So we got four. Let's see, we'll press on top in the 
upper left. Oh, there's where our extra one went. I'm going to click delete on that one. I'm going to rotate these guys. Then drag them onto our surface. Same thing. Rotate. That looks correct to me. Rotate one more time. All right. I'm going to do some aligning. So I'm going to do drag and click to select the ring and that object. I'm going to align it center wise. Same thing with this one and that ring. Oh, already aligned center in the center. Very good. Those two use our align tool. Very good. And then I'm going to click and drag over the entire thing and then press group in the upper right. And there we have our first Beyblade ring design. Not too bad. Uh, we can get more complicated than that, but again, this is just an intro to making this design. All right, now I'm going to try a rectangle. So I'm thinking this one might just be a arm that comes off of our Beyblade. And let's see, we'll make this 6.5 millimeters tall. And then... Uh, let's see, we'll make this, yeah, no, we'll do 10 millimeters wide, and we'll drag it out a little bit, maybe make it 30 millimeters long, okay, and we'll add a nice spike to the end, just like we did before, dragging a triangle, and we rotate this guy to 90 degrees, make this 6.5. Okay, then we just got to position them. All right, like that. And then we're going to go ahead and group. And we have a Beyblade top that's going to just be a big spike. Oh, looks like we need to ungroup that and raise this guy up. All right, we'll stick with two because this video is getting kind of long. Um, this is just to get us started. I'll be back next week for Makerspace, and I'll be able to help you guys out, okay? But we can see, not too bad to make these designs. When we want to go ahead and 3D print, we'll go to export in the upper right, uh, .stl, and then we'll work on getting those 3D printed with our printers in the lab, okay? I'll see you next time, guys. I'll be back uh, next Thursday so we can practice making Beyblades, and we'll go over some more complicated methods. Uh, they'll give us nicer designs. All right, see you guys then.